We will now step through the procedure for importing a latitude longitude text file into En-ROAD survey. We're going to import this into a field book and at the same time we're going to project the latitude longitude into a grid state plane coordinate system. So the first step is we're going to create a new field book in memory by going to file new survey data put a name and hit apply. Now we're going to the survey import by going to file import survey data. Okay, here is our main importer to bring data into the Enro survey field book. We have the files of type filter for all the many raw data types that we support. But to get to the text import wizard, we're going to select text file. Okay. And one thing we need to do, uh, we need to take a look at our file format before we import this. So here's our file. We're going to right click and open it with notepad briefly. And I'll just show you we have a point number lat long and height in this file. One note here uh, while we're looking at this, uh, Enro Survey Importer supports latitude, longitude, and decimal degree format, not degrees, minutes, seconds. And you also have to have a minus sign to designate west uh, for your longitude there. We don't support the character north or, or west. Okay. The next thing we need to notice is at the bottom are linear and angular units. Notice our linear set to international and our angular is degrees, minutes, seconds. Well, we know this is not correct, so what we can do is we have a hot link to our survey options here called options. And we're going to go to the units tab and change this to U.S. survey feet and our angular units to decimal degrees. And we'll set our precision out high. Set OK. Notice the settings have changed. So now we highlight the file and we click import and that takes us into the survey text import wizard. Well, because I have a header in this file, in step one I'm going to eliminate it by saying start at import row two. Alternatively, I could right click down in the file and select start at import row if I don't want to count the rows. Next step is I'm going to hit next to go to step two. And on this tab, all I'm doing is picking the delimiter, which it is comma. Notice how it auto parses out the data in the preview window. So I hit next to go to step three. This is where I identify the columns. So my first column is point name. All I'm doing here is right clicking on top of the column and then selecting the value. Notice I, if I had some extra data that I didn't need, I could leave it set to skip. Uh, for an example, in this case, I didn't want to take the Z and I just wanted the horizontal. I could leave skip on elevation and it would omit that into the Enro survey field book. Now before I hit finish here, I've got to go into the projection area and decide how to project this data. And then I'm going to save this import wizard as a .tiw file. So I'm going to click the projection button. And it says, what is my input coordinate system? Well, I'm going to click the little ellipse button here to help me a little bit. I'm going to find my group is lat long because this is my input. And we're going to do the standard lat long, the key name LL. Okay, select. For my output, I know that this is a state plane, a NAD 83 US survey foot uh, that I need to project this to. So I'm going to look in through my groups and I'm going to pick state plane NAD 83 US foot. And these particular lat longs are in uh, Alabama NAD 83 West. So I can find Alabama 83 West and click select. Now hit OK. And the last step here before I hit finish is we actually require you to save this as a TIW. And the nice thing here is we can use this later if we have this type of data uh, over and over. So I click Save As. And I'm going to give it a name that I can remember. So I might say LL to AL83 West. It's going to save it as a .tiw file, and I'm just going to put it in the same folder with the rest of my standard TIW files. And after I hit save, it'll ask me, do I want it in my file import survey data pull down list or my filter list? So I can, next time I have a file of this format, I don't have to go through the steps in the text import wizard. It'll be a single click to import. So I say yes, and now I click finish and close. 
So to make sure the data is there, we can simply go to Survey, Fieldbook Data, which will open the active fieldbook. And you can see those three points came in and were projected to my state plan grid system.